Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start with the information. These are some updates on the art. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. They've increased the interest rate to encourage citizens to save their money. They're going to be paying 7.5%. What's the main goal here? I think what they're really trying to do is to get large amounts of money off the street. Dot mattress money is what they call it. They're still trying to get that money in. Article, Fording the smuggling of $400,000 out of the country of Baghdad airport. Corruption, smuggling, that's what it's all about. That's the number one issue. That's how you're gonna get what you want. This was a huge massive corruption cleanup for the new exchange rate to come out with security and stability. It's that simple. This is not rocket science. This is not complicated, there's only one thing happening right now. Sadani is cleaning the floor of the CBI from the corruption of these horrible people. Currency sellers have been advised they were no longer able to sell currencies after 11.59 p.m. Friday night 20th of October Central Daylight Time. Once the currency sellers stopped being able to sell, Tier 4B, us, the Internet Group, would go. The optimal time we could be notified was Saturday morning 21st of October. Article Iraq to charge customs duties slash taxes exclusively in Iraqi dinars. This is awesome. There we go, the dollarizing, heading in the right direction. The dollar briefly touched the 150 level against the closely watched yen on Friday. Supported by a rise in 10-year U.S. Treasury yields towards 5% after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell indicated there was room for further interest rate hikes. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note, which rose 5% for the first time in 16 years overnight, rose 30 basis points this week, its biggest weekly rise since April 2022. The war in the Middle East sparked a rush into safe haven assets such as gold and the Swiss franc. But trading in Treasuries was dominated by interest rate expectations. However, this did not translate into a similar strengthening for the dollar this week, which made only marginal gains while manipulating the 150 level against the yen. This figure represents the point at which many market participants believe the Japanese Ministry of Finance could intervene to support the currency.